Welcome back everyone. In this video we see Jonas Zuckertolt game. This game was played in 1884 in Ottawa. So without wasting time let's move. So Jonas Zuckertolt play with white pieces and unknown player play with black pieces. So Zuckertolt starts with e4 and black replies with e5. Knight c3, Knight f6. Vienna game, Volker Beer variation. f4, Vienna gambit. d6, Knight f3. Knight c6, Bishop c4. And black continue with Bishop g4. And pin this Knight. So black can move his Knight on d4. And create pressure on Knight f3. So Zuckertolt can move his bishop on e2. But Zuckertolt first castles king side. Bishop e7, d3. And now Zuckertolt can't move his bishop on e2. And also Zuckertolt support this f4 pawn. So black continue with knight h5 and create pressure on f4. So Zuckertolt continue with f takes e5. And open this rook's line. So you can see that target on f7. Continue with knight takes e5. And create pressure on knight. And same time on bishop. In this position pause the video and think. What is the next move of Zuckertolt? So Zuckertolt. Continue with knight takes knight e5. And sacrifice his queen. If black take this knight, then Zuckertolt can take this bishop and create pressure on knight. But after knight takes knight e5, black accept the queen sacrifice. Bishop takes queen and Zuckertolt continue with bishop takes f7 check. And now king has only one move. King f8. Then Zuckertolt can capture this knight after moving king f8. So you can see that for con knight. So black continue with king f8. And Zuckertolt continue with bishop takes knight and discover check comes from rook. And the king has only one move. King g8. And also pressure is on black's bishop. So you can see that Zuckertolt can capture this bishop. After moving king, but black didn't move his king on g8 and black continue with bishop f6. And Zuckertolt didn't take this bishop. And again pause the video and think what is the next move of Zuckertolt. So Zuckertolt continue with rook takes bishop and sacrifice his rook. So this is called exchange sacrifice. So Zuckertolt simply exchange his rook with black's bishop. And now king has two options. Remaining squares are covered. But black can't move his king on e7. Because knight d5 comes and the checkmate. You can see that all squares are covered. So black can't move his king on e7. So black accept the exchange sacrifice. G takes rook and Zuckertolt continue with bishop h6 and check. And now you can see that these two diagonals are covered. So king has two options. And the king can't move to g8. Because bishop f7 comes and checkmate. King has no moves. So after bishop h6 check black continue with king e7. And Zuckertolt continue with knight d5 and check. And the king has only one move. King e6. So black has to move his king on e6. So black continue with king e6. And amazing move by Zuckertolt. Bishop f7 and check. And the king can't go back. Because these two squares are covered with knight. And the knight supports this bishop. And f5 and d5 squares are covered with this pawn. So king has to capture this knight 
so zakal told sacrifice his knight so black accept the knight sacrifice king takes knight and pause the video for last time and think the last move of zakal told if you find the move congrats so zakal told continue with c3 and black resigned here reason for resign is this c3 pawn covers d4 square and the next move is bishop f4 and checkmate you can see that king has no options all squares are covered and if black continue with f5 then also bishop f4 comes and checkmate this knight supports this bishop f4 and also this knight covers f6 square and if black continue with c5 then also bishop f4 is checkmate because king has no options you can see that this d4 square is covered with c3 pawn and this e4 pawn is supported by d3 pawn so zakal told move c3 and after c3 black resigned here If you like the game then please subscribe the channel for watch more these type of games